larval viruses are some of the smallest and simplest eukaryotic viruses and were only discovered in the 1960s. Although known to be widespread in many organisms in nature, the first human parvovirus infections were discovered only in the last few decades. Why is it still spinning, Noel? I don't know. Wait, oh wait, okay, zooming out. Okay. Okay, it's going away. Okay. Parvoviruses are icosahedral in shape and contain just protein and DNA genome. The three capsid proteins confer a lot of stability upon the virus particles, allowing for resistance to an inactivation by pH solvent or temperature up to 50 degrees Celsius. Parvoviruses are thus among the most resistant viruses known. The first human parvovirus that was discovered was the B19 parvovirus. This virus was discovered by a virologist named Yvonne Cossart in London in the 1970s while investigating laboratory assays for hepatitis B. A few years later, the virus was linked with fifth disease, a common rash and childhood illness. The virus only causes real damage if the host has some variation of a blood disease like sickle cell anemia. The most common symptom of B19 infection is a rubella-like rash on the cheeks. Children are much more likely than adults to develop the rash, but not all do. The rash is known as erythema infectuosum, or fifth disease, or slap cheek disease. Feline panleukopenia in cats is caused by a parvovirus and can cause mortality as a result of immune system destruction. In adult cats, FPV replicates mainly in lymphoid and myeloid precur precursor cells in the bone marrow, lymph nodes, thymus, and spleen, as well as in the epithelial cells of the intestinal crypts. FPV causes feline distemper. It often attacks kittens, killing all their white blood cells and also attacking cells in the intestine. If untreated, the disease is often fatal, either due to dehydration or secondary bacterial infection. Replication of the virus requires that the host cell be undergoing DNA replication, that is, in S phase, yet unlike many other viruses, they cannot initiate cell DNA synthesis. This means that parvoviruses are restricted to the dividing cells of the body, such as the erythropoietic and immune system cells. Parvoviruses not only infect cats, but dogs as well. Two mutations on the surface of these two viruses determine their targets for infection. Both viruses attach to the transferrin receptor on cell surfaces. This receptor normally picks up transferrin, a protein involved in iron transport. The virus catches a ride on this receptor, using it to travel inside the cell. The receptors in cat cells and dog cells are slightly different, and the two mutations on the viral surfaces match these differences perfectly. Parvovirus genome is linear, single-stranded DNA of approximately 5,000 base pairs in size. The genome also has palindromic sequences at both the 3' and the 5' ends, which can fold back on themselves to form hairpin structures. The hairpin structure at the 3' end is used as a simple primer to start synthesis of a plus-sense DNA, resulting in double-stranded DNA. The hairpin structure is then again used as a primer to transcribe more minus-sense strands for from the double-stranded DNA. Viral replication within the cell leads to eventual cell death and tissue necrosis. Studies of the DNA sequences of the virus have revealed the phylogenetic relationships between canine parvo parvovirus isolated from, the, from dogs and the viruses from cats, raccoons, mink, and arctic foxes. The results showed the viruses were most likely derived from a single common ancestral sequence due to less than 1% difference among their sequences. Among the different species, the viruses differ in 5 to 6 amino acids. Due to several host changes, it is clear that parvoviruses have adapted well to their changing environment.